Chapter 2 covers the tissues of the human body. Um, we are going to study histology when we're studying tissues. And those four primary tissue types are known as epithelial, muscle, connective, and nervous tissue. Um, notice I said primary tissue types or major tissue types. Each of these has a specific function or functions. And then within each of those four categories, there are specific tissue types that we're going to discuss. Um, and then all these different tissues combine in various ways to form the, form the organs of our bodies. So we're going to start with, on this particular lecture, we're going to, I'm going to just include epithelial tissue and then I'll split the others off just because this is a lot of notes, okay? So a couple things, um, and I already wrote a few notes on here that I want you to make sure that you include. Um, let me start at the top though as far as explanation. So general functions, providing protection to underlying tissues, um, functioning in absorption, Okay, so protection is going to be preventing abrasions and wear and tear, absorption in the digestive tract and lungs, and then filtration in the kidneys, um, secretion of substances from glands, we'll get to that more in a minute, um, lining all of our body cavities like the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity for example, and then lining hollow organs. There are other hollow organs, hence the et cetera, but just a couple of examples, the stomach, our blood vessels, our urinary bladder, all are going to be lined by epithelial tissue. Um, it's going to cover the surface of our bodies in the form of our skin or our integument or cutaneous membrane. Okay, integument and cutaneous membrane are specific terms that mean the same thing as skin essentially. Um, all epithelial tissue is avascular and mitotic. So when you put A in front of something, it makes it mean not or the opposite. And that's a good thing to write down. If you don't know that prefix already, if I'm giving you prefixes and roots and suffixes, definitely write them down, okay? Because you're going to take the ACT or have already taken it, need these types of things just to be a successful student um, and have a better vocabulary. So if it's avascular, it means that the tissue lacks a direct blood supply. And then if it's mitotic, it means that those cells can actually divide. Right? Some cells, once they're mature, they are amitotic or cannot divide, but epithelial, epithelial tissue can. Um, epithelial tissue is attached to its underlying tissues by what's called a basement membrane, and I'll point that out on another slide or two so you can label that. And then the apical surface, which I know you're going to probably have trouble seeing that, so you might want to rewrite apical surface. That's the opposite side of the cell from the basement membrane. Um, as far as the fact that these tissues lack a direct blood supply, the only way for them to get oxygen and nutrients is that oxygen and nutrients will diffuse from the underlying tissues across the basement membrane and into the epithelial cells themselves. 